yeah so the question was around uh, how do we customize the registration card how do we bring in local languages so by default in bamni the registration card is customizable it it comes under the configuration itself so now if you head to the configuration folder uh, under the configuration open interest tabs if you head to uh, registration you will see a folder called as registration card layout where there will be a html file print.html you can customize the entire layout whatever contents needs to be printed those can be customized here and now for example if i show the registration card that comes with the clinic config okay maybe something to do with my local setup yeah so this is where you can customize and uh, this as well supports i18n uh, you can add in your keys and the the values for these keys can be added in the i18n subfolder oh. under registration you will see uh, for different languages you can create keys and add it out for example for english this is how it would look for different languages those can be added yeah hope that answers the question okay so let me move on let me move ahead to the next topic uh, so the next topic is about viewing log so now so far we have seen how do we start container stop different containers how do we connect to the database so the next thing would be for example let's say if you face some issue how do you deeper how do you view the log so again here we have two different approaches one is you view the logs directly with the help of the docker plane that is you get it to the environment you view the logs directly the other option is we have a centralized logging configuration that's possible with grafana and loki so first let's quickly see how do you view logs directly with the docker plane so for this yeah you can use the runbomni.sh script you can go to runbomni.sh and for example there is an option for you can just say you want to show the logs of a service the script itself will list you what are all the service that are running so for example let's say i want to see the logs of open mr i'll say open mrs so this will show me all the logs and it will show you in the following mode so now for example if you hit something all those requests would be shown up here so or else the other option now for example let's say you want to do some grep or something you can again uh use the docker compose command for example i'll say docker compose <clears throat> logs if you want to just view the logs you can say open mrs so it will just show you the logs and you'll get back or if you want to say follow the logs you'll add a minus f option which would follow the logs yeah and if you want you can like you know process like you know say grep for any error statements so now we don't have any error statement so <clears throat> the grep doesn't give us any results i can say warning so this will show what are all the warning statements that has been printed yeah so now moving on to the centralized logging so to configure centralized logging we have a wiki page under the running from e docker section let me open that so here we have for bamni we have implemented a, a centralized logging where so centralized logging simply means all the container logs would be stored at a central place that would be easy for you to visualize everything at a single location you don't need to go around with the compose logs and everything so for that first step would be to install the loki logging driver plugin so docker has different plugins for options so the plugin that we would use for centralized logging is loki so first step would be to install the plugin i have it installed in my local the next step is we need to update the logging method in docker compose by default in our docker compose we have the logging configuration uh, for both which is the default logging configuration which would use a docker's default logging setup so let's say if you want to override with loki we have the configurations already written but the log config that supply depends on this value so currently it points to default so it uses the docker default logging now let's say i want to change it to loki so what you would do now you would replace this loki with sorry replace this default with loki so i'll change this default as loki here and then yeah so the next step would be to start the loki stack services 
so what we will do is we will go to bounni docker or light standard directory and then we need to update the profile now we are starting centralized logging right so we need to add in that profile as well so i'll go go to the dot env and in my compose profiles along with bounni light i want centralized logging as well so i am adding the logging profile and if you want to know the docker compose what are all the services it would start you can head over to the logging folder and you can see there is a different docker compose which has the logging set so <clears throat> now key from tail and grafana all these services exist here yeah. so now i have enabled the logging profile i'll head over again so now we need to start the logging stack services i'll go here i'll run this command which uses both the docker compose files now if i say this now we can see this all our container gets recreated because the logging configuration has been changed in the docker compose file so the already existing containers got recreated along with this as we see here locky grafana and promptail also get started Uh, yeah the containers are started let's see with docker ps and docker so now we can see along with bumni containers we'll see um grafana locky promptail these containers related to the centralized logging stack has also started up so now as mentioned in this step now we should we can go to localhost slash grafana copy this probably Yeah, by default you will get the default login credentials as admin admin, and once you sign in with that, Grafana will ask you to change the password. So please change the password. Don't run your instances with default passwords. So I'll change it to a different password. Three and submit. Yeah. So now once you get into the Grafana screen, you can go to the explore page that's here. If you click on it, it tells that the data source would be selected as Loki by default. Now, to view the logs of a service, you can choose a label here. For example, let's say I'll choose container name, and we can see whatever container has so far pushed the logs. Those containers should be visible here. For example, let's say I want to view the logs of proxy service. I'll hit proxy and I'll say run query. So now we can see all the logs being loaded up here. Now, for example, let's say I want to view OpenMRS logs. I'll say run query. so all the logs should be displayed here if it is a warning it will show you in different colors and if it is an error you can get it in different it will show up in red colors as well you can do any processing here you so for example let's say i want to find only the text which contains a warning statement i'll just add this and i'll say run query and now we'll get only the warning logs now if i say i want only the error logs i'll just again add error here Just say run query. Yeah, it couldn't find any error statements as of now. Or uh, let's say, for example, I want to see what are all the paths with API. Or uh, let's say REST APIs. Any error specific to a path is being shown. And run query. No error as of now. Yeah. Yeah. Of that clear? Any questions? Okay. So yeah, then I'll move on to the next sub topic as part of this. Now, Loki configuration. There are different configurations possible. You can go to the official Loki's documentation. and for bumni currently we have configured the retention period so now bumni ships with the default retention period of 24 hours and this is the minimum but this can be configured as per the need so to do so we can change it in the loki config.yaml now 
you head over to our bumni docker directory under logging logging you will see a file called as logi config.yaml so this is the configuration that is being shipped so here you will see a key called as limits config which says retention period so now it's set to 24 hours for example as per your requirements or your implementation requirements let's say you want to keep the logs for 5 days you can change it instead of 24 hours change it to your requirements in hours so that's how and all the logs are persisted with a volume the more the retention period you enable your volume should be requirement that is your storage space would be And even with Grafana, let's say if you want to get some alerts on logs on when, when an error statement comes, that is also possible. You can configure alerts on the same for that. You can refer to the Loki's official documentation. Yeah. So this is the Loki. You head to explore screen and then it will open up the Loki log browser and you can choose a container name for or else. Let's say you want to see the every container logs. It will just show you Bumni light, and if you run query, all the container logs would start coming up. But this would be difficult, you know. It's better we split it by container name. Let's say I choose container name, and I'll say open MRS, open MRDB, whichever container you want to view the logs. Select the container, run query. Yeah. Okay. Any questions on this? around logs okay seems like man okay let's move on to the next topic the next topic would be an introduction to deploying bumni on aws i'll hand it over to umesh thanks man